purpose of the AMS soil gas probe is to collect samples of soil gas without diluting your sample. Included with your probe will be the probe tip, an extension, a coupler to connect the two, a couple of inner rods with air connectors, a hose adapter, or if you believe groundwater may be an issue, we have an assembly that we call the water stop, which is made of a water shut off valve and a vacuum gauge. Other than that, we have some Teflon tape which should be used on each of the threads for the probe itself. We have a length of tubing which will connect your probe to the RAT7 and a T-handle with, with its coupler so you can push the probe into the ground. To assemble the AMS soil probe, we will need to apply Teflon tape to, to the threads of the probe tip and one end of, end of the extension, after which we attach the coupler and the extension. If at any point you need to disassemble a probe and reassemble it, I would recommend applying new Teflon tape. Make sure that it is fit snugly. Now, you do not need to apply Teflon tape to the other end of the extension until after the probe is driven into the ground. After that, we can assemble the, the inner rod. Now, when assembling this, you want to make sure that the couplers are attached to the, to the shorter set, set of threads so, so that the inner rod will fit into, into, into the probe itself and you can then later remove it, otherwise it will be too short. Once again, making sure that it is a snug fit. Next, we have the T-handle and its coupler. This will, this assembly will attach directly to to the top of the probe itself. After you use this to drive the probe into the ground, r remove the T-handle, apply some Teflon tape to the top of the probe, and then you can either choose a simple hose adapter or the water stop, depending on what your needs are. Both of these both of these attachments will connect it directly to the probe itself. To, to set up the AMS soil probe for testing, you want to make sure that the inner rod is inside the probe itself before driving it into the ground. After that, grab your T-handle, attach it to the top of the probe, then we can drive it into the ground. The AMS soil probe is intended to be used in looser soil. Around here it's just loose enough, otherwise we'd recommend using the hardened steel probe. After driving it into the ground, we want to remove the T-handle and the inner rod. As mentioned before, the purpose of the inner rod was just to make sure that soil didn't get into the probe as we drove it down. So we take this, set it to the side. After that, get a little bit of Teflon tape and put it around the threads of the probe itself.
and you want to make sure that it is wrapping around in a clockwise direction so it's threading on the same way as the uh, as in this case the water stop will be threading on in this case I'm going to be using the water stop because around here the groundwater may be an issue So after that, all you have to do is make sure that the ground around the base of the probe itself is packed in so, so that fresh air doesn't, doesn't uh, dilute your sample. So before we do any testing, one thing we have to make sure of is that the RAD7 is purged for a while using dry, clean air. In this case, I've already pre-purged it so we can go go on and move on with our tests. So, to set up the RAD7 for testing with the Soil Pro, go into, we have to set the protocol to grab. After that, take your tubing, Attach it to the drying column. Attach the drying column itself to the inlet of the Rad 7 and the other end of the tube to the probe. From there, we can start the test. After 20 minutes, the test is complete. From there, you can either wait a while, test here again to get another sample, or you can remove your setup and find another site to test and test there.